Today, in this video, I'm going to talk about hemophilia. Hemophilia is a group of blood disorders in which there is a defect in the clotting mechanism. The inherent returns pattern is X-linked recessive, which means that males are more commonly affected compared to females. The most common type of hemophilia are hemophilia A and hemophilia B, where hemophilia A consists of 85% of the cases and hemophilia B consists of 15% of the cases. Hemophilia A is a deficiency in the coagulation factor 8, whereas B is deficiency in factor 9. The clinical features of hemophilia are easy bruising, noted when the infant is 9 to 12 months old, when they are crawling and walking. They can also present with hematrosis, which is a special characteristic of hemophilia, and it normally affects large joints for example, the knee, the ankle, and the elbow joint. Other features are epistaxis, gum bleeding, hematuria, which means blood in the urine, intracranial hemorrhage is rare, and also other features are spontaneous bleeding, for example, they notice a lot of bleeding after trauma, operation, or any dental procedures. To investigate for hemophilia, we can do full blood count, where we expect to see normal platelet count, and this helps us to differentiate from platelet disorders, where in platelet disorders, the platelet count is sometimes low. Another investigation is doing coagulation profile, which includes PT and APTT. PT is the prothrombin time, whereas APTT is the activated partial thromboplastin time. So since hemophilia is a deficiency in coagulation, factor 8 and 9, it mostly affects the APTT. So for coagulation profile, we expect to see normal PT and prolonged APTT. Prolonged APTT might be only seen in moderate to severe hemophilia, while in mild hemophilia, there might be no findings. When the APTT is prolonged, then the laboratory will proceed to do the factor 8 level. If factor 8 is normal, then proceed to do factor 9 because factor 8 deficiency is more common, hemophilia A. And then next we can do specific factor 8 and 9 assay like I mentioned just now. So in hemophilia A, we expect to see low factor 8 whereas for hemophilia B, we expect to see low factor 9. For treatment, we can give factor 8 or 9 concentrates depending whether it's hemophilia A or B. The dose required for the concentrates are listed here. So the units of factor 8 and 9, this is the formula, where for factor 8, we use the percentage of rice required times weight times 0 0.5. For a factor 9, is percentage of rice required times weight times 1.4. So what is this percentage of rice required? I've listed over here. It depends on the clinical presentation. How severe is the bleeding? If the patient presented with hematrosis, the percentage of rice required is normally 30 to 40%. If there is soft tissue or muscle bleeding, it is 40 to 50%. And if it is a life-threatening hemorrhage, like intracranial bleeding, the percentage of rice required is 100%. So how long should we give this treatment? For he hematrosis, we give for 2 to 3 days. For soft tissue or muscle bleeding, we give for 4 to 5 days. Whereas for intracranial bleeding, we usually give for up to 7 to 10, to day, 7 to 10 days. So these are some of the complications of hemophilia. First one is joint destruction. It happens due to recurrent hematrosis into the same joint, and this will eventually destroy the joint, causing osteoarthritis and deformity of the joint. Second complication is acquisition of virus, for example, hepatitis B or C or HIV. Third is inhibitors against the exogenous factor 8 or 9. This, the occurrence of getting inhibitors, the overall incidence is um, higher in hemophilia A, which is 15 to 25% chance of getting the inhibitors, whereas for hemophilia B, it is quite rare, only 1 to 3%. 
will have inhibitors against the exogenous factors. It can develop at any age, but usually after 10 to 20 exposure days. And it is usually suspected when there is lack of response to the replacement therapy, despite giving high dose. So how do we treat these inhibitors? We can treat them by giving recombinant activated factor 7, also known as Novo7. And also another alternative is factor 8 inhibitor by pass activity. That's all for this video, thank you.